you've decided it's time. It's time to lose that weight and embrace a healthy lifestyle. But then you start to wonder, what should I eat? How many meals per day? Which exercise should I choose? Can I eat this or that? And soon enough, your mind starts spinning and paralysis by analysis hits. You end up with a familiar thought. I'll start tomorrow or on Monday. My diet starts tomorrow. But guess what? You can actually start today. Hello, my dears, and welcome. I'm Arina, a registered dietitian, here to guide you on your weight loss journey. Having walked this path myself, I'm here to offer practical and achievable tips that you can begin implementing right now. Today, we will focus on some of the simplest, yet most effective weight loss strategies you can start today and at your next meal. Remember, the journey to a healthier you isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Just as you wouldn't start a marathon at full speed, you don't need to change everything all at once. Small, manageable changes can turn into lasting habits when they are easy enough to repeat every day. Consistency is key and even minor adjustments when practiced regularly can lead to significant results over time. This time I'm doing it right. Let's dive into the first tip. We all know that water is essential for life, comprising about 60% of our body weight. Without adequate hydration, survival becomes a challenge with humans only able to last two to four days without it. Despite this, many people go through their day without paying much attention to their water intake. Drinking water? No. Research suggests that 16 to 28 percent of adults may experience dehydration, which can impact overall health. Although essential for life, drinking water won't magically shrink our fat cells, but it can play a significant role in a weight loss journey by this. Water has no calories, and when it comes to weight loss, calories matter as it is essential to create a calorie deficit. If you regularly drink sugary sweetened beverages instead of water or other non-caloric beverages, you are drinking your calories and adding your total daily energy intake. By swapping just one can of regular soda or other sugary drink with water, you can save up to around 150 calories per drink. Now, if you did that a couple of times per day, that is your calorie deficit needed for initial weight loss. That's amazing! It's simple, but often overlooked and truly effective. If plain water isn't your preference, there are other non-caloric options to consider. Sparkling water, unsweetened tea, and fruit-infused water are great choices. But if you are used to drinking sugary beverages, choosing diet beverages can be a great alternative to help you transition away from sugary drinks. Studies confirm that diet beverages can assist with weight loss as a substitute for sugary drinks since they contain zero calories. The goal is to avoid consuming calories through beverages, which can contribute to weight gain. Additionally, water enhances digestion and prevents constipation, but can also help with appetite control and overall weight loss. Some studies suggest that drinking a glass or two of water before meals can help with hunger, increase satiety, and more weight loss. The stress sensation in the stomach from drinking water might help curb hunger, though this approach is not recommended for bariatric patients due to potential complications from stomach stretching. The recommended water intake varies based on individual factors such as age, size, activity level, and climate. However, a general guideline is to aim for 1.2 to 2 liters of water per day. Keep in mind that fluids from fruits and vegetables contribute to your overall intake. To stay hydrated, consider carrying a reusable water bottle with you throughout the day. Setting reminders on your phone or using an app can help ensure you're drinking enough water. If plain water feels bland, try flavoring it with slices of lemon, cucumber, or even berries. 
Tracking your intake with a water tracking app or a simple journal can also be helpful in meeting your daily hydration goal. Additionally, consider cutting back on alcohol. Drinking alcohol can affect weight loss attempts because alcoholic beverages are often high in calories and low in nutritional value. After a glass or two of Chardonnay, you are more likely to make less nutrition food choices as I have yet to meet a person who craves salad after a little buzz. So let's all grab a glass of water and take a sip together. Mm. And I'd love to hear from you. Do you drink enough or do you tend to forget? Share your thoughts in the comments. For the second tip, let's talk about walking, a simple and highly effective exercise that can significantly support your weight loss journey. Walking is one of the easiest and most accessible forms of exercise, yet is often underrated. Observational studies have shown that people who walk more tend to be thinner than those who walk less. One meta-analysis found that increasing daily steps is linked to a steady reduction in mortality risk with benefits continuing up to about 8,000 steps per day. After reaching this number, the risk reduction levels off. However, a study using smartphone accelerometers showed that the average daily step count for people in the US is only about 4,800. This is significantly below the amount needed to see these substantial health benefits, including a lower risk of mortality. While we often think of more intense forms of exercise like high-intensity aerobic workouts or weight training as the best for weight loss, walking has its own powerful benefits. Higher intensity exercises can indeed lead to more significant weight loss changes, but they are not always practical for everyone. No, I can't do it! For many overweight and obese individuals, engaging in high intensity workouts can be challenging due to low cardiovascular fitness, orthopedic issues, or difficulties with adherence. In contrast, walking is a lower impact activity that can be performed more easily by those with these limitations. This makes it more accessible and sustainable option for incorporating regular physical activity into daily life. Walking also provides numerous benefits that support weight loss. It helps burn some calories, which is essential for creating a calorie deficit. Although it may not burn as many calories as hours of swimming, this simple activity can add up significantly over time. Beyond calorie burning, walking improves cardiovascular health, boosts mood and mental health, and enhances overall activity levels. It is a practical way to increase your daily energy expenditure without requiring a major overhaul of your lifestyle. If you are not accustomed to walking regularly, starting with small, manageable goals can be effective. For instance, beginning with short walks and gradually increasing the duration and intensity can help build a sustainable routine. Simple changes like taking a 10-minute walk during your lunch break, using the stairs instead of the elevator, or even parking further away from your destination can contribute to your daily step count. Five calories burned. Nice! Integrating walking into other daily activities such as making phone calls while walking or setting a daily step goal can make it easier to maintain consistency. To make walks more enjoyable, consider listening to music, podcasts or audiobooks. Walking with a buddy or your dog or your friend's dog can provide extra motivation and make the experience more enjoyable. Also, exploring different routes or parks can keep your walks interesting and engaging. Additionally, try tying your walks to regularly scheduled activities to build a habit. So, lace up your walking shoes and go for a walk today. But first, I want to hear your thoughts on regular walks in the comments and don't leave just yet. Stick around until the end and then we can all go for a walk. I know who's waiting for me. For the third tip, let's focus on making the most out of your next meal today. 
What you eat plays a crucial role in your weight loss journey and small adjustments to your meal can make a big difference. Specifically, adding more protein, incorporating fiber, and practicing portion control can help you achieve your weight loss goals more effectively. First, let's talk about the importance of adding protein to your meals. Protein is essential for maintaining muscle mass, which is crucial for a healthy metabolism. A higher muscle mass means your body burns more calories even at rest. Including protein in your diet can also help you feel fuller for longer, reducing the likelihood of overeating. Additionally, protein has a higher thermic effect compared to fats and carbohydrates, meaning your body uses more energy to digest and metabolize it. This can contribute to a higher overall calorie burn, further supporting weight loss efforts. Aim for 20 to 40 grams of protein per meal to maximize these benefits. Some great sources of protein include lean meats, fish, eggs, low-fat dairy products such as Greek yogurt and cottage cheese, and plant-based options like beans, lentils, and tofu. By ensuring that each meal contains a good source of protein, you can enhance satiety and support muscle maintenance, both of which are beneficial for weight management. Next, let's discuss fiber. Fiber plays a vital role in promoting digestive health and keeping you full between meals. High fiber foods such as fruit, vegetables, whole grains and legumes help regulate digestion and can prevent constipation. They also contribute to a feeling of fullness which can help you consume fewer calories overall. Incorporating fiber-rich foods into your diet not only supports weight loss but also contributes to long-term health benefits. Consider adding a serving or two of vegetables or fruits to every meal. They are low in calories and high in water, fiber and vitamins and minerals and can contribute to the overall volume of your meal. Choose whole grain options over refined grains and snack on fruits for an extra fiber boost. Simple swaps like using whole grain bread instead of white bread can make a big difference in your fiber intake. Finally, let's explore portion control using the healthy plate model. The simple method helps you balance your meal and manage portion sizes without needing to count calories meticulously. The healthy plate model involves dividing your plate into sections. Fill half of your plate with non-starchy vegetables, one quarter with lean protein and one quarter with whole grains or starchy vegetables. Additionally, it's important to manage your fat intake. Healthy fats such as those from avocados, nuts, seeds and olive oil should be included in one to two portions per meal. While they are essential for your body, fats are calorie dense so it's crucial to measure and keep track of these additions to avoid extra calories. This visual guide ensures that you are eating a balanced meal with appropriate portions of each food group. Additionally, using smaller plates can help control portion sizes and prevent overeating. By creating a balanced plate and managing portions, you can maintain a calorie deficit while still enjoying satisfying meals. Integrating these strategies, adding protein, increasing fiber intake and practicing portion control into your daily eating habits can lead to more effective and sustainable weight loss. By focusing on what's on your plate, you can make small yet impactful changes that can contribute to your overall health and weight loss goals. So, when you sit down for your next meal today, remember these tips and start crafting your balanced meal. And if you have any delicious recipes, sharing is caring. Oh, and don't forget your water with your meal. Now that you've made mindful adjustments to your next meal, let's focus on an equally important aspect of your weight loss journey, getting quality sleep. As you wind down after a day of making healthier lifestyle choices with your water, balanced meal and a walk, don't overlook the critical role that restful sleep plays in your overall well-being and weight management. Sleep is not just a time for rest. It's a vital component of a successful weight loss strategy that can profoundly impact your results. 
better sleep health is associated with greater weight and fat loss and sleep deprivation with poor health outcomes. A chronic pattern of sleep duration of less than 6 hours a night has been associated with a higher body mass index. Studies have consistently demonstrated that short sleep duration is a significant risk factor for weight gain and obesity because quality sleep is foundational for regulating your body's hunger hormones such as ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin stimulates appetite while leptin signals satiety. When you don't get enough sleep, ghrelin levels increase and leptin levels decrease leading to increased hunger and cravings for high-calorie foods. Disturbed sleeping patterns in terms of both quantity and quality have been documented to lead to an increased energy intake mainly from snacking, especially on foods rich in fats and carbohydrates. This can contribute to overeating and weight gain, undermining the efforts you've made with your meals. Additionally, inadequate sleep can negatively impact your metabolism. During sleep, your body performs essential processes, including regulating blood sugar levels and repairing tissues. Chronic sleep deprivation can lead to insulin resistance, where your body cells become less responsive to insulin, potentially increasing your risk of weight gain and type 2 diabetes. To start making a positive impact today, consider implementing a few key practices. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night as recommended by sleep experts. Establish a consistent sleep schedule by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends. This helps regulate your body's internal clock and enhances the quality of your sleep. Create a relaxing bedtime routine to signal your body that it's time to wind down. Activities like reading a book, taking a warm bath, or practicing deep breathing exercises can help you transition from the busyness of the day to a restful night. Additionally, make your sleep environment as comfortable as possible by keeping your bedroom cool, dark, and quiet. Limiting exposure to screens and electronic devices at least an hour before bed is also crucial as the blue light emitted can interfere with your ability to fall asleep. Finally, be mindful of your diet and exercise routine. Avoid large meals, caffeine and alcohol close to bedtime as they can disrupt your sleep patterns. Regular physical activity can promote better sleep, but try to complete your workouts earlier in the day to prevent them from affecting your rest. By incorporating these strategies tonight, you can improve your sleep quality, better regulate your appetite, and support your weight management goals. Oh my gosh, look at those dark circles under my eyes. So tonight, Put down your phone, ensure your bedroom is your little dark cave, and give your body and your mind much needed rest. I sometimes struggle with bedtime as there is so much to do in a day, but will practice what I preach. What about you guys? When is your bedtime? As we wrap up today's tips, let's turn our attention to final tip. Planning a crucial step in turning your weight loss goals into reality. Effective planning can significantly enhance your chances of success by providing structure, motivation and clarity about your objectives. After you've made mindful choices regarding your meals and sleep, taking time to plan can help solidify your commitment and set you up for long-term success. Start by setting clear, smart goals specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Instead of vague aspirations like I want to lose weight, define specific targets such as I aim to lose 10 pounds in 3 months. This clarity helps you stay focused and track your progress more effectively, but keep your goals realistic as significant weight loss takes time and patience. Understanding why you want to lose weight can also provide strong motivation. Reflect on your personal reasons for embarking on this journey. 
Whether it's improving your health, boosting your energy levels, or fitting into your favorite clothes, having a clear purpose can keep you motivated and committed to your goals. Meal planning is another essential component. Dedicate some time each week to plan your meals, which can help you make healthier choices and avoid last-minute unhealthy options. Create a weekly menu that includes a variety of balanced meals and snacks and make a shopping list based on your plan. This not only simplifies grocery shopping, but also reduces the likelihood of impulsive, less nutrition choices. Keeping a food diary can further support your weight loss efforts. Documenting what you eat along with the times and portion sizes can provide valuable insight into your eating patterns and help you identify area for improvement. Tracking your food intake can also increase accountability and reinforce healthy eating habits. Incorporate time for reflection and adjustment into your planning routine. Regularly review your goals, progress, and any challenges you encounter. This ongoing self-evaluation allows you to make necessary adjustments and stay on track with your weight loss journey. By prioritizing planning today, you lay a strong foundation for achieving your weight loss goals tomorrow, as the saying is true. A goal without a plan is just a wish. As we come to the end of our discussion, I want to emphasize how crucial it is to start making changes today rather than waiting for tomorrow or next week. The journey to a healthier you is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Each small step you take and every minor adjustment you make can lead to significant changes over time. Remember, the key is to focus on small, manageable actions that you can incorporate into your daily routine. Whether it's staying hydrated, taking regular walks, planning your meal or getting better sleep, these initial changes are the building blocks of lasting success. It's not about making drastic changes overnight, but about creating a habits that are sustainable and effective in the long run. By starting today, you're setting yourself up for a healthier, happily future. Embrace the journey and be patient with yourself as you navigate through this progress. Consistency is key, so celebrate your small victories, stay committed, and remain consistent in your efforts. I'd love to hear about your own experiences and any tips you have for making small changes that led to big results. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching, my dear, and let's start this journey together today. Until next time, stay motivated, stay consistent, and be patient. Bye!